Light. <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. Knock and the door will be open. Some ancient wisdom that you've probably heard here and there through the years. What is it all about? What does it mean? And how do you take advantage of that philosophy? Ask and ye shall receive, so long as you believe it's yours. And you live in the faith, when you believe it, then you will see it. Eliminate all doubt, doubt cancels out the request you put out. That is what trust is about. Asking and knowing, the universe is showing you the way. Hey, you gotta take action for the law of attraction to unfold. Truth be told, you only desire what's possible for you. You only aspire to what you can do. That's how the universe works. That's how you collect the perks of life. Put an end to all the strife. Struggle is optional. Oh, when you live in happiness, doesn't mean you'll never know pain. Amidst the bliss, being happy prevents you from falling into the abyss. Being happy knowing that life has its ups and downs. Sometimes you smile, sometimes you frown. You get to choose the views you see. Let me repeat that one. You get to choose the views you see. If you never ask, the answers always no. So ask for what you want. It's not a daunting task. Decide what you need to be happy and just ask. When you ask for something, when you put emotion to it, and when you take action toward it, and you don't even have to figure out what action to take, because that emotionalized request is already going out to the universe. It will send you the how-to steps. And when you're clear to recognize the messages and they're coming at you all the time from your guides, from your angels, from the universe, from your own spirit, they're coming at you. Notice them. Maybe you don't know how yet. Look in the show notes. I can show you how. Then you can stop guessing. Then you can make sense out of your life. You know, doubt cancels out anything you're putting out there. But when you trust and you live in the knowing, you're going to recognize the message the universe, your guides, your angels are showing you. You know, you're only going to have desires. I mean, they come into your awareness only if it's possible for you to attain them. But just because you say you want them, you're not going to attain them. You need to want them in your heart where you 
can fill them with your desire, with your emotion. Nothing to which you aspire is random. There's a reason it comes into your awareness. But you can't just think about it. You can't wish and hope. Those aren't strategies. However, you can be clear in the picture. You can see, you can feel, you can live into it with all five senses. But that's not enough for it to be in your imagination. You want to notice, take in with conscious awareness, all the how-to steps coming at you. But you gotta take the steps. Nothing happens until you take action. Nothing in your world changes until you do. And always remember, if you never ask, the answer is always no. So what are you knowing in your heart that you really and truly desire to live in your life. Let's ponder this. What if you could take raw cashews and turn them into snowmen, 3D sculpture snowmen that you could hold in your hand and pose as a scene? And what if you could make a cookie Christmas tree, three-dimensional, so the snow people are gathered around the cookie tree? Or what if you knew how to take chocolate morsels or carob mussels or vanilla morsels, melt them, and make greeting cards? Think that would be fun? Well, going over to the link in the show notes so that you can get my cookbook showing you how to do it, along with a special offer of a video step by step. It's like having me right there in the kitchen with you. You're here to live a life of love and joy. That's what empowers you in your life, in your environment, in your world. And the world certainly needs more love and joy. I thank you for joining us here today. Reverend Ellie Bierman, this is Let's Get Metaphysical Connecting Heart and Mind. Remember to join our Facebook group where you can make a new friend, ask questions, get the extras that I put in there every week. And you can always go to the website for our show where you can listen to or watch any episode. We're well over 100 now. In fact, we're moving up to episode 150, which is pretty darn exciting for me, and I hope for you, because of all the people who get to find us now, and you know how you can help us getting others to find us, because they are looking for us. And perhaps it's someone you know who's looking for us. When you're on our website, it's really easy. You click leave a review. Or why don't you just text, or better yet, call two of your friends Tell them about the show. Tell them why you like it and why you think they'll like it. And tell them how to get to listen to or watch the show. I really appreciate your joining our community to support being able to continue bringing the show to you. And when you join, I reward you with, I reward both of us with, a live video chat every month. And Audible has an offer that you can get through my link, 
also in the show notes, where you can choose any audiobook of your choice with a free 30-day trial to look around, and it will take you 30 days to look around at all the amazing things available to you. And the book I recommend this week is The Richest Man in Babylon. It's a story of parables so that you get to hear the same lesson framed in slightly different stories because the more you're exposed to something and see how it gets applied, the more likely you are to take it on as part of your being. Remember to enjoy, that's capital I-N, capital J-O-I, every moment, because nothing in your world ever happens outside of you. You don't see or hear or taste, touch or smell anything out there. It all happens within here. Your sense organs take it all in, or your brain interprets it. I look forward to being here with you next time.